Okay everybody, today we're going to talk about the video editor and there are some extra options now in the video editor. Uh, not great, but a little bit more control. So let's take a look. First off, you need to go to your channel and then above your channel banner, we're going to have the video manager. In the video manager, on the left hand side, we will have other options such as create. So go ahead and click create. And once we click create, it's going to give us some options, audio library, music policies, or video editor. I'm going to click video editor. Um, my video editor has some extra projects in here, so I'm going to start a new project by going up to a project and clicking new project. Okay. I'll even give it a, give it a name. Keyboard shortcuts. All right, good. All right, so now what we have here is the keyboard shortcuts. It even tells you in the little info area here, if you click the question mark, you can navigate with the keyboard. Use uh, with keyboard focus and the list of thumbnails, left and right arrows, move among the items, enter a plus, add to the chosen item to the uh, timeline, and then space to preview the video. So what does that mean? Well, that means in your thumbnails here, we have all of the thumbnails of all of your videos that you could use in your video editing piece. If you click it once, it highlights it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right on my keyboard and it will highlight the one to the right. If I go to the right, it goes to the right and I can filter through. I can go to the left as well and it will filter back. So once I find one that is highlighted, all I need to do is press the enter key and it will put it down in my timeline down here. So I'm going to press enter and you'll see that it comes down and then it automatically plays as well. Once I pause the video, um, I can use the space bar to play it again. Use the space bar to pause it again. And now that I'm playing my video, the arrow keys do something a little bit different. The arrow keys will let you skip ahead um, by about three to four seconds. So I'm pressing to the right and I'm skipping ahead about three or four seconds. If I press to the left, it'll bring me back about three or four seconds as well. So I can filter through my video pretty quickly. Press play with the space bar, filter through with the arrows and so on and so forth. Then I can do the same thing again up here in my thumbnails. I can just highlight one of my videos. It will play it, unfortunately. And I want to highlight it once, skip through, skip through my videos, and then I can press enter again. Let me find one of these here. Press enter again, and it brings it down in the back end of, it brings it after the first clip that I put into my timeline. So anyway, uh, YouTube is just trying to make things a little bit quicker, a little bit easier for you to use some keyboard shortcuts. The video editor still does stuff um, uh, slowly and in a basic manner, but it can get the job done if needed. I'm waiting for some even more advanced keyboard shortcuts such as marking in and out points. But it's getting there and YouTube is not giving up on using the video editor. So if you want to check it out, go to the video editor and play with these keyboard shortcuts. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you later.